Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got a question in from Julio Hernandez. Hope I'm saying that right, Julio. Julio's a regular here, and uh, he's got a good sense of humor. We banter sometimes on the on the comments. He says, hello, Matt. Hope to find you in good spirits. Actually, I am, and I'll tell you why. I just got back from Cuba, so you guys can all stay tuned because I've got underwater photos from the Nikon AW130. Did some snorkeling. It was amazing. Saw barracudas and tons of fish and conks. I caught some conks and some starfish. Oh, it was, it was awesome. I had a little bit of a tan. I used a lot of suntan lotion because I didn't want to burn. Had a great time. So, yes, you've caught me in good spirits. <laughs> I have played with the Nikon D810, a marvelous tech, and I must say that since I used it a few months back, I miss its sharpness. I'm a Canon shooter, and I'm heavily invested. I love my 5DSR, my 5D Mark III, and my 70D. Of the three, I tend to grab more the 5D Mark III, but since I use my brother's Nikon D810, I must say that I love the camera and miss its sharpness. Also, Nikon Glass is almost all good, and they are not like Canon, that they have a line of good and not-so-good lenses. Also, I'm getting tired of Canon not being fair to us in the way they design. Having said all this, I'm debating between buying the D810 or at least removing the AA filter out of the 5D Mark III and wait to see what the 6D Mark II brings to the plate. If Canon don't raise their bar with the 6D Mark II, they mu uh, will must certainly have a Kodak moment. Hope to hear from you soon. Thanks for taking the time to read, though. Uh, so that's from Julio, and um, interesting, interesting question, Julio. Um, I don't know what I'd do right now in your position. I love the 810. I have one here still. Um, fantastic camera, and, you know, I'd probably take it over anything from Canon at this point. It's going to be updated soon. This year, I'm thinking, at some point. be interesting to see what we get. I've speculated on this. At least a 42-megapixel sensor. Probably, I'm thinking, closer to 100 uh, it'll have 4K, no doubt about it. It's going to be an amazing, amazing camera. It's going to beat the crap out of anything Canon currently has. Um, so, you could switch now, get an 810 at a good price, and then upgrade to the 850 or whatever it's going to be called at that point, which you'll be blown away with. Or, you could hold the phone and wait with what you have. I'm not sure about the removal of the AA filter from a 5D Mark III. I haven't really talked to anybody that's done that. I'm not aware of it really is a thing that people do a lot. Uh, I'll throw that out to you guys. Is any any of you, does anybody know of anybody or has done it, removed an AA filter from a 5D Mark III? Or any Canon camera for that matter. Um, let me know in the comments below. Let's help out Julio. Uh, so, and then what you said with the 60D Mark II, I have high hopes that the... That the um, not the 60, sorry, the 60 Mark II is a smash hit. I'm hoping Canon pulls their head out of their proverbial rear end and gives us a good 4K, decent. Um, now, they might not because they might not want to cannibalize 5D4 sales, but they might. They might be seeing the light. Um, so we may get a really good 60 Mark II. So you may just want to wait at least till the 60 Mark II. Um, you may not want to, you may, I mean, we've got some updates coming. The 610 from Nikon is going to be updated, probably a 650 and it'll have 4k. I can almost promise you that. So, you know, maybe it's a good time to switch. What do you guys think? Would you switch now in Julio's position? Would you try and remove the, the AA filter? Would, would you get an 810 and then upgrade to a 650 or an 850 or a seven, whatever this new 750 is going to be? Or would you just hold tight and wait and see what's coming? Let me know in the comments below. Let's help out Julio. Let us know what you do and why. And uh, thanks for your question, Julio. And stay tuned, folks. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.